Hello everyone, my name is Ali A and welcome to a brand new video. We're going to be covering something really, really exciting here, which I think a lot of you guys will enjoy. It's actually gaming in 3D. Now, I'm sure many of you guys will have been to a cinema before, you will have tested out 3D there. Maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't, but this is completely different because it's in the comfort of your own home. And I'm lucky enough to test out one of Sony's brand new 3D TVs. It's a 46 inch Bravia TV that's only just been launched. If you want to check out the details and more information on this TV, you can check out the two links in the description description of the video and you'll find more details there but as you can see this is a really stylish TV it looks fantastic and uh, the base is really really cool it's a very thin TV it will look great in any room so let's get into some gameplay so as a game I've tested out loads of different size TVs before I've had the 160 inch projector screen on my channel which you guys will have seen from last week which is really really awesome but the first few things that really struck out to me when I was using this TV to play Call of Duty on the PS3 which I uh, do actually have a PS3 um, the first few things that struck out to me was the contrast of a screen and also the motion flow technology in this screen which basically simulates 800 Hertz which means it's a really really smooth picture and the whole experience watching both gaming and standard TV made everything feel a lot more realistic and as we stop the uh, gameplay here and zoom in on a still image we can get a lot better idea of the quality of the screen because unfortunately filming the TV is uh, pretty tough to sort of you know grasp how good the picture quality is just by uh, taking a recording but as you can see it's bright it's vibrant and uh, it is very very smooth so if you go back to the front on view here and have another look at the still image of some uh, some action here as I go into a gunfight with one of the enemies we can see what separates this TV from others and it is a full 1080p screen as we see here as we zoom in just how crisp and clear and how colorful the screen is it really is a very very vibrant experience and everything stands out you're not going to miss an enemy at long distance you're going to be able to react quickly because of how smooth the actual gaming experience is and it was really really enjoyable to play on now I know some of you guys will probably be a bit skeptical about 3d but you've got to remember this TV will not only offer 3d gaming but 3d when the Olympics comes out and 3d for the Euro games in the summer as well so you've got loads of experiences to use this 3d TV for which uh, I'm very excited to test out as well over the summer so here you can get an idea of the scale of a TV comparing it to the Modern Warfare 3 PS3 case all the inputs the TV has which are plenty and here we can see the layout for the home menu on this TV very similar to the PS3 which is awesome and uh, it rocks Skype it rocks Facebook it rocks Twitter here we can see Twitter in action it actually uh, displays alongside what you're doing either gaming or watching TV it integrates itself really really well and there's loads of apps and extra internet features within this TV which which are really really awesome now the uh, button here on the remote which you're going to be looking for is the 3d button and the glasses that I use which are also in the description of the video for more details block out all light coming from everywhere apart from the glasses themselves and the glasses are actually rechargeable and the TV offers a simulated 3d view which means it will turn any 2d image into a 3d image um, if you're going to be setting up your PS3 make sure that you set up the TV to display in 3d and say if you're using black ops you've turned on the 3d option now here we can actually see Black Ops being displayed in 3D and uh, you can see here looking at three points it actually those bits come out at you and uh, everything else sort of goes away from you and it's a really awesome experience because of the fact that you can turn a 2D image into a 3D image you can also play Modern Warfare 3 in 3D granted the experience isn't quite as great as Black Ops because it isn't set up for 3D but it's still really really awesome while playing Black Ops in 3D the experience was actually really really cool it felt like you were much more in the experience you were in the game you were sort of in the, the fight as it was happening you really got that sense of depth between the end of your gun the scenery in the background and the sort of heads up display which is all around you and what's really really awesome and exciting is that Black Ops did support 3D Modern Warfare 3 didn't but Black Ops 2 most likely will when it comes out later this year which means if you've got a 3D TV like this you're going to be able to experience Black Ops 2 Future Warfare in 3D which is just going to be insane here's some standard definition viewing and watching HD channels on this TV was really really enjoyable really pleasurable and uh, it definitely made TV viewing even just generally a lot better than viewing it on anything else and I was really really surprised by that so I'm gonna go over a few points here what I like about the TV what I don't like about the TV so the first thing I really like about the TV is the design it looks fantastic and if you're serious about getting a 3d TV of this size and you've done your research and you'll know that the price of this TV is actually really really good 
good and if you check the link in the description you can find out more about that I think the picture quality in general is fantastic both 3d viewing and standard viewing when you're watching TV normally looks really really good and uh, the smoothness of the TV I mentioned it already really blew me away so the only negatives I have for the TV is the fact that the response time of the TV isn't quite as quick as something as you'd find on the monitor which is probably expected and the fact that the adjustability of the TV screen itself is very limited you can't tilt it forwards backwards or to the side at all you literally have to manually move it but apart from that you can see on screen here all the settings that I've used throughout this video if you're interested in getting the TV or you have a similar TV so I hope you guys have really enjoyed if you've got any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section of this video let me know your experiences of 3D gaming or 3D in general and I really hope you guys have enjoyed you can click on screen now to check out more of my videos recently clicking on the left you can check out a brand new video from only earlier today and it's the best tips and tricks and class setups for the new Modern Warfare 3 playlist called Face Off and on the right you can check out a 2 versus 2 live Modern Warfare 3 Moab so I hope you guys have enjoyed hopefully you've uh, learned something new about 3D gaming and uh, this new Sony Bravia TV so cheers for watching and I'll see you on my next video Yo.